Hey, Master Gardeners. I've been working the whole day long in a warm greenhouse here in North Africa. I've been working with Erin, and we're going to interview her and talk to her. But first, I want you to meet the missionary family that works here at the Liberian International Christian College. This is Holly Sibold, and they work here. They've been here for four years, and she has an important role here in the greenhouse because why is this so important in your heart? Uh, I'm really trying to help the students. Um, uh, find ways to make money through agriculture so even they can be practicing so that once they graduate they will have some knowledge and skill to be able to go and start a business whether it's selling um, ornamentals or house plants or propagating for crops so the students this is an agricultural bachelor's degree that they're earning and Erin has already earned her degree she's come back and she's working here as a full-time uh, employee now and she's still living at home with her mom. She walks to work every day, and it's a few miles, and she's got a little baby she cares for. So, so Erin, tell us a little bit about what are we doing over here? What's going on in these beds? These are seedlings. We nest those seeds, and we are taking care of the seedlings to get them ready for transplanting in a few. Okay, so it's growing, see, growing season right now is the beginning of the wet season. It begins in about a month. And Iran said in July it's going to rain every single day. So they need to get these field plants planted and incorporated into the soil and rooted before the heavy rains come. So she's telling them what plant you have here. This is local beta ball that will grow right here in Liberia. And we love it very well. It is sweet. Uh, I understand that American families don't care for it too much because it's so bitter. Oh, I'll have to look that genus species up for you so you know what bitter ball is. But the other crops that are here is she also has peppers. This is an African hot pepper that they grow here. And um, hot, that's the key word on that one. And here behind us is another crop on the ground. What is this? Iran, we grow this in the United States a little bit. What are these? These are water green. I nest in here and they are growing well. We cook them as soup. Okay, she uses them in soup. Now, at home we call these Malabar spinach. And so this foliage can be eaten as a, a fresh green or you can boil it up like spinach plants. And it's kind of a trailing a trailing variety of a spinach type plant. So, and Iran, let's go over here and show them what your big project is. Now, what you need to know that is in Liberia, they are trying to promote, promote the development of a citrus industry because all the citrus plants are imported yeah. into your country. There's none grown here. When in fact they grow well here. So we're gonna to try to solve that problem and get some money that will be that valuable income for students graduating. So she's doing what with these citrus? What are you doing? This is called what? What kind of project? We call this ball grafting. Ball grafting. Yes. She's grafting. As you are seeing, seeing these ceilings, these are the rough lemon. The one I is done. Okay, so the rough lemon is the rootstock. Yes. This is a very hardy rootstock plant yes. for the healthy root. And the one you see up here is the ball. She stuck a bud in there. So we, we took the ball from a scion. It's a we, scion bud. We, we she, have what we call a scion. We can take the ball from a scion and bring it into the nursery. And then what we have to do, we do we follow the grafting method. And before grafting, what you have to do? You have to be having all your tools. Bring your tools to where you're doing your grafting. And number one, you have to disinfect your tools. Because anytime DC enter this, your you skin will be destroyed. That's it. Teach them when you graft, you have to have sterile equipment and keep everything clean. And then tell us what you did to the top part of this so thing. What, so what you have to do, when you bring a rough lemon ceiling, you have to, to cut this area, open a rough lemon. Like you are giving a soldier to someone, you <laughs> cut the good, you cut it carefully. Okay. What do we do with that thing? This, you... we don't want this. This is what? the unwanted leaf. We have to prune it from there. Oh, Go throw ahead. It away. Right. Cut that off. And from there, you open this area, take time and cut it so you can reach to the rear boom of your tree. All right. Because when you get to the boom, it will be destroyed. And after all. Okay. All right. That's good. So that's the gist of our grafting thing. Now come on down here and show them this project. <laughs> Here's another idea. What do you love to eat here in Liberia? I love to eat popcorn. And popcorn is very sweet. You know, in Liberia, we get everything we want to do. Or we go to the store to buy, or we get to the shop to buy. What about we ourselves need to plant this? So we get to the market, we bought the seeds of this corn, 
brought it right here and planted it. So they planted some popcorn. Throw them in there. They planted popcorn. They plant. This is a summer, uh, well, what would be, be our summer? It's their wet season. They grow this down in the wetland areas during this uh, dry season. So they plant low in the dry season, and then now winter's coming, they plant at the top part of the land for the wet season. So they rotate exactly where they're planting. So this popcorn was harvested from down there. They bring it in a greenhouse and dry it. So there you are, Master Gardeners, some fun facts about North Africa.